Tesla's new hydrogen car will destroy the industry. If you ask anyone what the future of automobiles looks like, in that case, they will almost certainly reply to electric cars with Tesla at the vanguard of the trend. But what if I told you there is another choice that is just as excellent as the battery electric vehicle, if not even better? What if we could power automobiles with the universe's most plentiful resource, hydrogen, while producing just water as a byproduct? Hydrogen-powered cars are gradually becoming a threat to battery electric vehicles. How do these hydrogen-powered vehicles work, and why is Tesla producing them? We have covered everything for you in today's video, so stick to the end. But before we start, take a moment to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Most of us have heard about battery electric vehicles, in which the electric motor is driven by a battery that stores electricity. Simultaneously, a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, or FCEV, such as the Toyota Mirai, generates electricity by mixing hydrogen and oxygen, which is then used to power the car's electric motor. Tesla owns more than half of the zero emissions market in the United States, yet it only accounts for 2% of the entire car market in the country. Long recharging times range anxiety, and of course the cost is the key reason why people do not go for battery electric vehicles. Cars with rechargeable batteries, such as hydrogen vehicles have an advantage over battery electric vehicles. A supercharger can charge a Tesla from 30 to 50% in 15 minutes, but a full charge will take more than an hour. Fuel cell vehicles do not require charging. Hydrogen stations, just like any gas station today, can refill the hydrogen tank in less than 5 minutes. This is because, unlike batteries, fuel cell electric vehicles create electricity on demand to power the motor. FCEVs, like all electric cars, are propelled by an electric motor. In comparison to conventional electric vehicles, FCEVs creates power via a hydrogen-fueled fuel cell rather than a battery. During the vehicle's design phase, the manufacturer determines the vehicle's power by the size of the electric motors that receive power from the correctly sized fuel cell and battery combination. Automobile manufacturers, on the other hand, may create an FCEV with plug-in capability. The battery is used in the majority of FCEVs today to recover braking energy, providing additional power during brief acceleration events and smoothing out the power produced by the fuel cell with the option to idle or turn off the fuel cell during periods of low power demand. The size of the hydrogen fuel tank determines the amount of energy stored onboard. In contrast, in an all-electric vehicle, the amount of power and energy available is proportional to the size of the battery. In terms of range, hydrogen-powered cars appear to have regained the lead. The three fuel cell vehicles on the road have ranged 312, 360, and 380 miles, respectively, and electric vehicles average range is less than 250 miles. Fuel cells are said to be a game changer for electric mobility, and of course, there is no shortage of hydrogen because it is the most abundant element in the world. However, free hydrogen is extremely rare. It is typically bound to something else, such as hydrogen in water or natural gas. In the United States, much hydrogen is produced primarily by reforming natural gas to break down the molecules and separate the hydrogen atoms. And the majority of what is produced is used in the refining of oil or the production of ammonia for the fertilizer business. Some hydrogen fuel for fuel cell vehicles is drawn directly from a pipeline feeding one of these oil refineries. It's close to the American Honda and Toyota Motor Sales USA headquarters in Torrance, California. Electrolysis produces some hydrogen at a few fueling stations, which separates hydrogen molecules from water. That process can be powered by either on-site solar panels or the local electrical grid. The majority of hydrogen for fuel, on the other hand, is produced in big hydrogen processing plants that also serve the oil sector. After that, the hydrogen is trucked to the stations and stored in massive above-ground tanks. The hydrogen must be compressed before it can be used as fuel in fuel cell automobiles. The current standard is 10,000 pounds per square inch, also known as 700 bars. It is then cooled to prevent heating up and expanding while being pushed into the car. So, you must be asking the question, is hydrogen fuel safe? In a nutshell, hydrogen acts differently than gasoline. However, 
It is generally as safe as gasoline in most automobiles' fuel tanks today. The average gasoline tank contains three to four times the energy and consequently three to four times the explosive potential of the hydrogen tanks used in the first fuel cell electric vehicles. Hydrogen is the lightest element, about 14 times lighter than air. Consequently, released hydrogen evaporates fast and typically in a narrow column shooting straight up into the atmosphere, despite its considerable flammability. Its fumes do not condense on the ground like gasoline's heavier-than-air vapors do. As a result, hydrogen does not pose a significant fire or explosive risk in most circumstances. To reduce the risk of an explosion, Practically all hydrogen fuel stations store the gas above ground in well-ventilated regions. In a hydrogen leak, the vehicles contain arrays of hydrogen sensors that sound alarms and close valves and fuel lines. Furthermore, the pressurized tanks that hold the hydrogen have been tested numerous times and be safe in crashes. For a mind-bogglingly stupid technology, it has the potential to become a serious competitor for the same customers that Tesla is pursuing. However, in the efforts to promote green hydrogen, a converted Tesla Model Y was recently displayed in Germany. The crossover was dubbed the Hyper Hybrid by experiment participants. Teslas are the most popular electric vehicles in the world. So using one to draw attention to anything is beneficial. However, one might think that using the Tesla name to promote is highly dubious. Musk is a vocal opponent of hydrogen electric vehicles and he has typically cited its inefficiencies compared to battery-powered counterparts. However, the ultimate goal was to develop and market automobiles that are fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly. Converting the Model Y to a car with a synthetic methanol engine, on the other hand, appears to defeat the purpose. Also, the idea uses the Tesla vehicle to bring attention to hydrogen. Some have considered it a terrible mistake regardless. Musk is not alone in his reservations about hydrogen's use in autos. Herbert Diess, the Volkswagen Group's CEO, chimed in on the debate, stating that green hydrogen should not be utilized in automobiles. These two prominent figures are at the head of large businesses with great power and influence. Not everyone in the motor business seem to agree with them. Toyota and Hyundai have already developed fuel cell automobiles while other manufacturers such as Riven are also working on hydrogen-powered vehicles. In June of last year, BMW Group said that it has begun testing hydrogen fuel cell cars, noting the vehicle's long-term potential to augment internal combustion engines, plug-in hybrid systems, and battery electric vehicles. As a result of the large number of companies working on future options, it is clear that technology has great potential. So, how far do you think hydrogen-powered vehicles can go? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video with mind-blowing facts.